The situation is a little dire uh, in Las Vegas with the UNLV Rebels. Marcus Arroyo, uh, that is a team that you can certainly bet against. Yeah. Uh, that guy had Justin Herbert as his starting quarterback and didn't know what to do with him when he was offensive coordinator at Oregon. And here he is at UNLV, um, still looking for his first win as head coach, uh, even though he's in his second year. They went 0-6 last year. Uh, they overhauled their talent. They got four P5 transfers. They got 18 three-star recruits. And that is about, I, I would say that is a top five recruiting job. Yeah. If you can go 0-6 and, and show basically no, uh, no hope, no nothing, and... And yet, still pulling 18 three stars in a, in a recruiting class. That's pretty damn good. Uh, the offensive line has to replace three starters. The running backs are super talented. Uh, you need a quarterback to be able to throw it consistently. Uh, they did not have that last year. Uh, but both of their quarterbacks can run. So, you know, that helps out with his offense. Defense gave up 34 plus in all six games in 2020. Um, I don't see that getting better. At, at least there's experience this year. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, I, don't. I, I think. I think if you're hurting, if you have an offense that's struggling, you play UNLV, and yep. it'll 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 it's just a sab that heals all your wounds. The win total is one and a half uh, to go over minus one fifty five. All right, so they think it's more likely that they get to two. Uh, to go under is plus one twenty five. So, uh, I could see them getting to two. It I wouldn't could, surprise me if they got to two. No, I mean, there's there's, there's what's the juice ways? on the over. Uh, juice is uh at minus one fifty five. Oh, for the so, over. so they're they're expecting you to go over. Yeah. Okay, that's a hell of a juice. What's the under? Uh, under is plus one twenty five. I think I just take the plus one twenty five and hope that they're just a shit team again. Well, here's the thing they they play Utah State, they play New Mexico, they play Eastern Washington. Here's the thing. That's the problem. Hang on. I don't see anyone else that they can. Uh, all right. I don't know. I don't know enough about Eastern Washington to to to, to make an intelligent conversation. The Utah State and the New Mexico, but I think they're going to get out coached in those games. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I like agree. I don't know talent wise that they're far away from those teams. They're a hundred percent not as good from a coaching standpoint as those two teams. You know, I had written down over one and a half. I don't think I'm gonna. I wouldn't lay that much juice. This is a this is a money play. Give me the plus one twenty five, and let me just hope that they suck. I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's the answer. If you yeah. told me you're willing to lay a dollar and a half to win a dollar on this shit team, be my guess. Knock, knock I'm taking, it out, I'm taking the under. I'm, I'm not taking doing, the under. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. They're bad, oh. and they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. No, they Las shouldn't be. Las Vegas is an awesome city, and and they should be able to recruit better. They should man, be able that, to, that to schedule, be better. That schedule's tough. Tough. Well, yeah. No, it's tough. No. That is the way it goes. They're, they're non-con, by the way, at Arizona State, Iowa State, uh, and d- 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 at UTSA. Who you got? Who in you Eastern got Washington. They could absolutely lose to Eastern Washington. Other than, I, don't the know, playoffs. I don't know enough about Eastern Washington, to, but I do know they were in the playoffs. I have no idea what they look like this year. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.